Hi my friends, very nice to see you. I made the same road trip like in my last video and yeah, as we had uh, four or even five days of, of strong rainfall in Socha, Slovenia, uh, we, we thought it's maybe a good idea to come a little bit more to the south and we drove down to Italy, so to Tuscany and this is really a fantastic area and we are already here, so we arrived right now. This means we arrived yesterday, uh, three of not four hours from here. So we wanted to drive here I think something like um, six hours to here, but there are so many potholes on the, on the highway. It is unbelievable. It's, it's really unbelievable. It took us so long to come here, and now I'm really, really tired. I feel a little bit like, yeah, like Russell Crowe in the hand of Gladiator. And I thought it's maybe a good idea to start with exactly a photograph like that. And I'm exactly here where the Gladiator came home. So the first thing I will do now is I will just uh, have a look at the spot because it's uh, it's noon. The yeah the the light isn't really awesome in the moment. I mean the landscape is fantastic, but we don't have uh, all the many contrasts or something like that. So I think it's a good idea to just to go to the spot where I think where I could wait a photograph first, and uh, then I will think about the composition. I will go back to the van and I will wait for the right uh, light, and then I will go there and take a shot of a masterpiece. Hopefully, we will see. So let's try for that. So I'm already almost at the spot where I wanted to go and it's a, it's a really iconic place, it's well known and there are a lot of people already there, although it's yeah around about uh, noon, something like that, a little bit later, but there are really lots of people there. So what I will do now is I will go there, I will have a look at uh, possibilities for compositions, I will frame up something, yeah, a rough composition, then I will go back to my van, I think I will sleep or something like that, an hour or so. And then I have also a little bit to work and in the evening I think I will return here and take a fantastic photograph and hopefully there will be all too many photographers there. So let's try for that. So most people are trying to photograph from up there. What I think is it's maybe better when you have a look back there. We have these prominent trees in the foreground. Uh, these, uh, separate trees or whatever they are and I think it's better to go a little bit closer to get a little bit more uh, compression or to see a little bit less of the mid-ground. It's a quite uh, big area there and I think it will get fantastically illuminated in the evenings or from the, from the rack. It could like, look really really fantastic but I think it's better to go a little bit, a little bit more down. An important thing for landscape photography is that light changes really everything. So light is uh, actually a part of the composition. And so when we look back there, I mean, when you take a photograph right now, we have another visual weight than we will, get, uh, we will have in the evening. And so what I think, the, the left-hand part of, of, this, of, of this road down there will be more in the shadow in the evening, and the right-hand part will be more illuminated. It could be that we get also, there are lots of clouds up there, something like that, that we get also some uh, shadows of the clouds down there and it's all about the right timing then and so what I think is I will anyway take a photograph right now because yeah it's, it's fantastic these shadows of the clouds and so and I think I, I will try here right now for something so let's try for that Oh man, this looks already fantastically good, really already during the day, it is amazing. I got some shadows of the clouds now, I took the shot already. It's, everything is now uh, illuminated before we had a little bit of a shadow and light and uh, it got a little bit of, of a transition so we get a, a better 3D effect or something like that and it looks really, really fantastic. I'm blown away, I think it's uh, uh, 2, 2, 2 p.m. something like that, I think, or half past one, something like that, <laughs> not later. <laughs> It is amazing, what a beautiful location. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I will uh, build up the same composition in the evening. As I already mentioned, light is a quite important element. Could be that the visual weight will change. In a moment, I just had a look at, at, the, at the lines that I, I balance everything nicely. And it could be that the balance will be different in the evening. I think I will think about some more options I have in the evening, how the light could turn and so on. And yeah, then I will think about that 
I will have to sleep, I will work a little bit, and I will come back. So, <laughs> what a fantastic day. It is amazing. <laughs> So I think the composition leans a tiny bit to the left, but it's not really a problem because as I already mentioned, the light will come from the right and then we will have a really fantastic balance and yeah, this could lead into a really amazing photograph. Everything depends on the weather now and had I really set my alarm clock. <laughs> I'm really tired, you have no idea. Oh man, it's so beautiful here. It is amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's evening, of course, but for me it feels a little bit like morning. As I already mentioned before, I worked a little bit in my van and I also had to sleep. Uh, a power nap, let's say a power nap of uh, 30 minutes or something like that. But to be honest, it's not a good idea to sleep over the day or during the day because yeah, I feel even more tired than before, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I think I can feel even better into this uh, story I want to tell with this image. I, I'm not sure if I will really tell the story of, of the gladiator, to be honest. <laughs> it's told by the, by the movie, but yeah, it, it's really uh, a little bit of connection is there to this, uh, to this scene, to this end scene of the, of the movie. And uh, that's, that's really cool. That's really cool. So I will go down there now and I think that we will have the best light in an hour and an hour and a half, something like that. <laughs> it is amazing. Around noon there were I think 20 people here, something like that. And when we look here around, no one is here. Here some are coming up there and uh, some are down there, but <laughs> here at the photo spot, we are totally alone for a moment. <laughs> we don't know what will happen, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, the only thing I feared was to, yeah, to have too many photographers here and that I'm not able to put my, my tripod there where I want to have it. And I think this will not be a problem. And I will look up there now. You have this fantastic farmhouse back there with this road up there and this uh, cypresses. The sun is still too high in the moment, but We'll set down there the right hand side and we will have fantastic side light here from the right. So I will think about the composition now. We'll find you now. I, I thought already about one uh, at noon, but now we will try to get a really strong one. Let's try for that. So I came up a little bit higher again because before I was a little bit more down there and I came up because I wasn't really happy with some cypresses. They, they hit or they, they crossed some lines of the landscapes back there and this didn't really look awesome to, to be honest. So it's much better from up here and yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with the composition, I have to say. So we have all these uh, sabrasses back there, the, the thicker ones in the foreground, the thinner ones back there and this gives an amazing sense of depth here in this photograph. The road is amazing. Uh, the road that leads over this hill here back to this farmhouse. It, it is such a, a fantastic uh, flow what we have in this image. And on the left hand side we have everything a little bit already in shadow. We have these amazing textures here on, the, on, the, on this field. And on the right hand side we, we see also already a little bit of uh, plasticity due to the shadow. The sun, the sun is going down here right now. It's uh, still a little bit high. I hope to get it lower. I'm sure it will get lower. <laughs> However, and I'm quite happy about this uh, solid tree here at the right hand side. It's, it's quite important. It balances the scene a little bit and it tells a little bit of a story. I mean, all the other cypresses are um, yeah, at the road and this one, one is back there. So what, what is with, with this one? What, what's happening there? So it's always good to, to think a, a little bit about storytelling when you take a photograph. Also when it's a, a really iconic place like this here. I also like the bushes here at the left hand side. Um, they are really fantastic foreground and they, yeah, they, they end the image here at the left hand side. Otherwise we would have uh, that space here just with the, with the middle. And quite important here, uh, the right hand side, we have a, a kind of field back there. It makes a, um, a zigzag or a corner like that. And at the left hand side, we have um, something else but it also makes a, a kind of corner or something like that. And I try to balance these two. Oh, this looks really, really fantastic in this composition. Oh, it's such a a calm 
mood here in the moment it's absolutely amazing really it's so enjoyable here <laughs> i don't have words therefore so i would say let's wait for the sun going down and and let's try to get out a fantastic photograph Now the light gets amazing, it's really fantastic. Just look over there, all the textures back there. It's so fantastic and I would say, let's make the click. So it was really fantastic to, to photograph here and yeah, the sun is still not totally down but it was really better to photograph uh, with the sun a little bit higher up because the thing is when it's too low we don't get all the textures on the left side of the hill so it was really fantastic. I also got the clouds up on the sky as I wanted to have them and that's fantastic and now I will go up there to this town, this old town back there. I think we can't see it in a moment. My wife is waiting there and I will have a fantastic Italian dinner. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video of yes. Please give me a thumb up. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to tune in next week. There will come a fantastic video as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.